Tony from Vision Labs here, and this is an introduction to PubSub. Here's what you'll walk away with after this short video. A comprehensive understanding of PubSub. You'll have hands-on experience. We'll have created a topic, a PubSub, but also triggering a cloud function. Uh, practical tips along the way so that you're getting used to the UI and also more confidence to help you look more like this AI generated image with a very unrealistic keyboard. So imagine we're starting this lemonade stand. Server beginnings, small budget, but we're going to be scaling this business thanks to PubSub. So PubSub is actually a global real-time messaging service. And this is what is going to allow us to reach out to customers, uh, delivery people, or any other service that we actually want to send data to. Yeah, we didn't even pour one lemonade out yet, but we're already starting to over-engineer things. But let's create our first topic in order to understand how everything gets started. Imagine that our lemonade stand is our hub. And this hub is going to be sending and receiving messages. Basically, we want to be sending messages to the customers when the actual lemonades are ready, but also we want to be messaging deliverers so that they can come and pick up the lemonades as soon as it's ready. And we don't want the other businesses to have to deal with our own customers. So we will be creating this lemonade stand topic so that all the communications go to our own customers and not the others. Before we can get started, make sure that you have your Google Cloud Internet Access Management permissions all set up. What we are looking to get here is roles as PubSub editor. Once you have this, you'll be able to jump in and follow along with this tutorial. So let's jump into the Google Cloud platform. First thing you want to do is to type in PubSub and you will see the global real-time messaging. Click on this and you'll get to the same screen that I'm at. And here you'll see that we've got no subscriptions set up yet and no topics. Uh, firstly, let's create our first topic. So we're going to be calling this topic our lemonade stand. This is going to be the hub. And there's a few different options that we have. We are going to be unticking this because this is going to create an actual default subscription that we don't want. I'm going to be walking you through how to do this. Uh, you have schemas and different uh, other options. What you have to sort of maybe keep in mind at this particular stage as introduction to PubSub is that you can export your messages to BigQuery and back them up as Google, to Google Cloud Storage because there is a retention limit depending on what you choose. It can be 31 days as default or seven days. And so you can actually send some of these messages to other services in order to make sure that they're kept longer than what the default is. Uh, next thing is that we're going to allow the Google Manage encryption key in order to create our topic. And let's go forward and create our first topic. Now you will realize that there's not much going on. Once we have created our topic, we are at the same stage as our lemonade, right? We've just started pouring a few of our lemonade, but nothing is happening. There's no messages going out, nobody's coming to see, and nobody receiving our messages once our uh, lemonades are ready. So here's where PubSub comes in. Our lemonade stand topic is done. What we are going to do is to publish to the subscription, any messages, right? And this is the whole basics of PubSub. It's gonna allow us to communicate straight to our customers in order to warn them that we have uh, lemonades ready. So imagine this in the fields and you've gotten all of your different lemonades ready. You, everybody's got on their phones. And so they want to receive a notification that, hey, your batch is actually ready. So let's, activate our lemonade topic with a PubSub. All right, back in our Google Cloud platform. Here you can see we have nothing. Nothing is happening. There's no messages. There are no subscriptions going on in this topic. So what we're going to do is to add subscriptions um, in order to get our lemonade stand going. So first things first is go to the subscriptions tab and click on create subscription. What we're going to do with this subscription is have anyone that is subscribed get a notification once their lemonade is ready. So we're going to call this customer order ready notification. And we obviously don't want to attach it to any other business or any other stand. If we had other competitors, it's going to be specific for the lemonade stand. And what this delivery type does, and we would we are going to do a push uh, delivery type in just a second. Uh, the pull is that anybody 
is going to be receiving this message, right? Anyone who is actually on this subscription will be receiving this message. Uh, looking at some of these little details, this is the retention piece that we discussed. Uh, we can leave everything as default for the moment, expiration, expiration period. We don't really need to know at this point that we sent a message off uh, to our customers 30, you know, more than 31 days. So uh, we will skip and keep all of these default settings. Once we created this uh, new subscription, we will be able to test it. So going back into our uh, Lemonade stand, what we want to do now that we've got our Lemonade topic that is enabled with PubSub is to notify anyone who is a subscriber. And so this is going to be sort of illustrating this publish method in order to have all the subscription show that particular message. So going back to our Google Cloud platform, we now have our customer order ready notification. And you can see that if we go to this overview, there's no messages and we can actually pull some of these messages and there's nothing going on. Same here, no messages. Right, so the idea now is to go inside of the topic, right, our basically lemonade stand, our hub, and publish our first message. And hopefully we get it right here. So going back to our topic, we go to our lemonade stand. We want to actually publish a message. So we're going to go inside of this message tab and to the step one, and we can publish a message. We're just going to do one and we're going to say lemonade ready. And so that way we can actually have, you know, all the people who are waiting for their lemonade uh, to get this particular message. So now that we sent it from our lemonade stand, let's check out the subscription and see what is happening there. You can see that the state is active. We've, we know the name, we've got the delivery type as pull, and we've got all of the different details that we enable. So going into this particular subscription, if we go to the messages tab, we can pull this message and you will actually see that we're receiving the lemonade is ready. This has worked. Now we can actually communicate to anyone who's sort of on this subscription and the subscription is receiving all of the messages that you want it to receive. Back in our Lemonade stand, we have now set up a subscription which will basically publish a message to all of our customers. And that is all from our Lemonade stand. Now we want to scale things up further and add a delivery person. That person is just waiting to know when he or she can pick up the lemonade in order to deliver it. So in order to do that, we have to create another subscription that will help us get that message out and about. So if we go back to our subscription, we have our delivery type as pool. And so the next type is going to be a basically message delivery service. So we want to notify um, the delivery person. And we are going to attach this one to our lemonade stand. And the type this time is going to be a push. Why? You will see. As soon as we click the push delivery type, we now have an endpoint to work with. So what this is going to do is that if you had an app, an endpoint or a particular webhook, this is going to actually send that message to this particular hook. So in this case, we are just going to make something up, which is going to be uh, Uber Eats, com, and it's going to be the Lemonade uh, stand. And so what this is going to do is, although this fake URL endpoint doesn't exist, it's going to push all of the messages that is you know, initiated from this hub to this endpoint. As same as the other subscription that we set up, we just want to have this particular piece um, created uh, with the default part. And so now we can actually go back to our example. We will have all of the actual messages that are published in this topic published to the subscription, but also we will have these messages sent to our delivery person. We now set up two subscriptions with our Lemonade Stand topic. Every time we publish something, all the subscriptions will be listening to those messages. We want to actually send a third message as soon as something is published in order to notify our friend with potential 
uh, storage and lemonade and equipment and if we're running out of any goods so that he or she can come and bring the lemons, bring the ice or bring anything that's missing. And so it's going to be just a very simple, for example, Slack message or something else, which is going to show up on their computer. Uh, so this computer is in the cloud and it's sort of located remotely. And in this case, we are going to be using the cloud trigger function. This is just an example to illustrate how you could also use cloud trigger. So going to your topics, we are going to go to the lemonade stand and we're going to trigger, trigger a cloud run function. You might have a few APIs that you see there was like this checking APIs piece. Uh, you will have to maybe enable all of the different APIs, but let me just show you a little bit of the gotcha here. Uh, so if we're going to set up a function, we're going to call it notify uh, Slack. And so this is going to be uh, triggered on the pop sub and it's going to be on the lemonade stand. You can decide to use, you know, retry on failure, etc. But what we want to do is to just send out a very simple notification when something happens. Please note that you can actually set up filters inside of some of these pop subs and you can have much more options. We're just setting up a very simple sort of central hub which sends out notifications. So instead in our inside our source code, we're going to be using Node.js 20 and the entry point is very important. We're going to be using the entry point that is going to be post to Slack. And so you're going to see this a notification that is going to tell us, make sure that the source code, the entry code matches the input field. What it's actually asking here is that this, this particular input matches uh, our endpoint because this is going to be sort of the final or the main um, uh, function that is going to be triggered. So copying over my main code, I'm going to run you through a few of the different pieces that we can actually play around with. In this case, I'm actually importing a Axos library. Uh, we have this post to Slack and we have the endpoint, which is going to be potentially your app, uh, your Slack app, web point, um, webhook, apologies. And so we are going to just send a very simple post message. You could actually send more information. Uh, you could just send a little message like, hey, a new uh, lemonade is ready, etc. Uh, or a new message for the lemonade has been successfully sent to all of the subscriptions. But so in this case, what we want is just to send like ping that particular endpoint. And so the next thing you want to do is to make sure that you have your dependencies correctly set up. So in this case, we are actually important to the Axios, and we're going to be using uh, the 1.77 library in order to make our call. And so the next thing you have to do here is to just deploy the function. So what this is going to do is it's going to go to the cloud run functions and it's going to be deployed. You can see here it's triggered as a deploy in the background. While our cloud function is actually deploying, we can actually go back to our main Lemonade stand that is getting a little bit busy, but we realized that we could set up a great global communication messaging service through all of these different pub subs, uh, creating subscriptions and also sending out a cloud run function. Let's go check out what our cloud function run look cloud function looks like. If we go to our cloud function and we could just type in cloud function to our Google Cloud platform, we will see that we have our notify Slack. A few different um, pieces of information here and you can see that the trigger is connected to the topic. You could actually create another one like this one, which would be triggered by BigQuery or something else and it would be just a HTTP trigger. But in this case, we are using the topic. If we go into this, there are a few different pieces that are quite interesting. You will see some of the metrics. Uh, you can also actually see the logs, how everything is working out, you know, when you receive um, uh, status or responses from the endpoint that you're using. You can actually test it in order to send this uh, message and this JSON to see what is happening and where it's really received, uh, making sure that the trigger is fine and you can also uh, do any changes in the source. Right, so hopefully this has been quite helpful if we summarize and hopefully you're looking like this now and you 
understand much better what is happening with PubSub, we've created a Lemonade stand topic, which is really our central hub. We created subscriptions, one pull, one push in order to you know receive messages and send messages out. And we also created a cloud trigger function in order to just use a more uh, specific way to send data messages to a uh, webhook, for example. And so this is all of the things that we do at Vision Labs and my team has put together a fantastic um, data order of operations. And so if you just go to this page, you'll be able to download it and you can go through all of these parts. Uh, we are actually covering sort of step seven here or a sub piece of step seven, where we're sort of keeping, you know, control of your data. And this is how we use it to make sure that, you know, we use PubSub on our daily operations to make sure that all of the data is correct, that it's been cleaned and that there is nothing missing from it. So uh, I invite you to check that out. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.